What's up guys? As you can see I'm in a different spot in the house. Um, I've been waiting to do a video. I've been wanting to do a video. I just haven't seen anything on Supreme I bought. I haven't seen anything I really wanted. So I'm just uh, trying to think of things to do a video to occupy this time. Like I said in the beginning of the season, fall winter I was not feeling at all. I've got a few drops out of everything and it's like very minor for what you guys are probably used to me get of uh, what I usually pick up. Um, so I just want to do some more videos. I said I do collection videos. They'll do like the crib tour eventually. Um, I want to do some more skate stuff. Try to film some like GoPro kind of skate stuff just to add some little videos to the channel. So I thought I'd show my biggest thing that I like about Supreme. Why I got into Supreme was the t-shirts. Back when I started, uh, 20, uh, 2009, 2010, something like that. Maybe 2008, I don't remember. I was in high school. Um, I pretty much, you know, you can't really afford much from Supreme. Like nowadays, kids are buying like $300 things, the jackets. All I could get was like t-shirts. So that's pretty much why I got into Supreme with the cool kind of like retro looking t-shirts, like the collabs and everything. It's something different that not a lot of places were doing. So this is my favorite thing to, to collect, to wear, the t-shirt. I think it's the most important thing you can get. So I just want to show you guys through my collection. As you can see here in my closet, they're all kind of, these are all the Supreme shirts right here. Um, first off, one of my favorite shirts. Um, from the 2012 season, I think, the Dorothy uh, Wizard, of, Wizard of Oz tee. Got it in white, just a cool little simple graphic. Um, one of my more favorite tees, as you guys can tell, I usually don't get white tees, I have a very small amount of white tees. And another special one is the Supreme Dover Street Market tee, when the Supreme started being carried in Dover Street Market, New York. This is the tee they kind of released with it. Cool t-shirt, little vintage looking t-shirt. And then we got a collab coming up, the Bruce Lee Supreme collab. I just got the one shirt from that in the vans. Cool little Bruce Lee print on the front. And what's up next? And then we got, oh, one of my, probably one of my more like favorite tees, one of the older tees I've gotten. As you can tell, it's a little bigger. I used to wear the large back in the day, trying to be all cool. I got the No Gods, No Masters tee in white. Um, I wish I would have gotten black. Think about black, I think it's the best color. I think it actually like, it holds better over time. It's in yellow, you can't, it's easy, easier not to stain. No Gods, No Masters, I, I love that uh, slogan, cool print. Huge print on the t-shirt. Another white one. Man, all these white ones are pretty much one of my more favorite t-shirts. The Batgirl tee, Batwoman, whatever you want to call it. I mean the cat, the cat girl tee, not bad. Um, super cool shirt, super vintage, like a punky kind of album cover kind of thing with that. One of the few shirts you've seen back in the day, they actually had like Supreme into the graphic. They usually didn't have the box logo, kind of like that into the graphics back then. I think that was 2012 or something like that, 2013. And the last tee from White the collection, and a more new tee uh, from the latest Undercover collab. We've got the Dolls in White, just because that's the only t-shirt I get. That collab went really quick. One of the Anatomy, uh, Anatomy tee, and I couldn't grab it, so I got the Dolls tee. Cool shirt to grab. Glad to have it. And then we're going into more of the different colors. I got the gray, Morrissey tee, photo tee. Pretty easy to get. I went up to New York to get, get this. Um, of course, I wanted black. They had gray. The gray is cool enough. Cool photo tee. Even kind of cooler that he uh, kind of didn't want the shirt to release, so he kind of liked it even more, especially despite him a little bit. It's kind of a weird guy. And then one of my more favorite. And these are all like really a lot of my favorite shirts in the beginning. It's weird. And then I got the undercover first collab tee, the witch from Wizard of Oz, Supreme box logo in the middle. Super classic, cool, keep cool tee. And then that shirt's going for like crazy. Uh, resell online now. And then the Daniel Johnson collab. Got it in gray, cool huge print on the front. What else we got? And like the only maroon shirt I have is from the second anti-hero collab. Got the Pope on the front, Eagle, Supreme. I actually like this color. I'd get more of tees in maroon if I could. And then here we go to the huge black collection. Speaking of uh, black, we got the Black Sabbath one from the recent uh, collection of the spring summer this year. One of my uh, favorite collabs of all time. If you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, you see I'm like posting on my t-shirts and stuff like that. And uh, I just posted my uh, Paranoid Black Sabbath t-shirt. Just saying, it's like my favorite band of all time. I have a little story with it. War Picks, more Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath on the back. A little spring box logo below it. Then we got another cool collab. Back in 2007, that kind of time period when I was in high school. Hypnotized Minds, 3-6 Mafia, that was like all the rage. 
bump that with your car with your like fucking 15s or 12s. It's crazy bass in those songs, hypnotized minds. Didn't get it when it came out. I ran on, I ran home. You can only see the yellow in this shirt. I was like, I'm not gonna wear a yellow shirt. I'll pass. So I recently picked this up, like maybe a year ago, resale. And I'm happy I got it. Supreme, hypnotized mind font. Another really cool collab. Um, and then we got the Paranoid Black Sabbath tee. Ozzy on the front, the Paranoid music video, kind of live performance. And then we got the Supreme, the Dancer tee. Another one I just uh, kind of highlighted on my channel. At, on my kind of Kilroy t-shirt collection thing I'm doing. Cool tee, got that dope painting, and then you got kind of like this weird like font in all the different colors. It's from like an album cover with like the original like photo uh, kind of put in on there. I think like the Bow Wows or something like that. Nothing on the front <laughs> and on the back. Cool graphic, Mandini gun. One of my uh, favorite kind of like graphics they put out in a while. Also got the little gun tray from that and those little dishes. Another one more recent, Dash Snow. Got the Saddam Hussein, kind of a, what is this, new daily news print on it. Um, didn't get the boards at first, and then I got hooked up from a friend on Instagram. He sent me the boards retail. Big shout out to him, because I was really mad that I didn't get those boards. A three, a three board collection. Uh, I just thought the graphic was really cool, and I just missed out on it. It was like one of the more like pissed I've been about not getting a Supreme item. So you guys know I collect all the decks. Most of them. And then we got the Supreme in the front. On the back, kind of the funny uh, little Mimi shirt. Got the back anal, back anal, whatever you want to call it. Some guys had fun with that little uh, line going on the back of your shirt. Cool Renaissance art. I love Renaissance art. That's why I got it. And then the first Supreme anti-hero collab. Nothing on the front. And that cool, one of the cooler collab, like mixed logos they've done. Supreme anti-hero mixed together. You get kind of like superhero. Real cool collab. I got the boards with that too. Skated the green one, kept the white one. Green one skated real nice, a little bit smaller than usual. Got the Supreme. This is a spinach tee. Don't really wear this as much. I got it, I think, when I was in New York. Nothing too special. Cool little simple tee. And you got the cool um, Supreme down the front, vertical. Thrasher collab, Thrasher in the back. And then another cool tee. Uh, Supreme with that font they kind of always use on the front, like left chest, and on the back you got E.T. That was like came out around when I was born, so I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of missed out on that movie. I also got the board with the same graphic. Another T, one of my most favorite T's, Sean Cliver, Candy Rush. It's classic Supreme. Like I just love these kind of like 90s skateboard graphics on the shirts. Wish they would kind of do a collab with him again or something like that. It'd be really cool. Really cool tee. Hard to get. Well, that's lucky I uh, bought that when it came out and kind of stuck onto it. And then we got the, I think from the one of my first second videos I did, I picked up this. I think this was spring summer 2012. Come get some tee. A lot of the kung fu guys all over it. Supreme on the bottom. Looks like a movie tee, kind of like that collage. Pretty cool shirt. What else we got? Oh, the Supreme uh, bling logo. Nothing crazy. You know, like it's kind of, it's kind of like the ugly step shout of like the box logo tees. Like everyone kind of jokes about it. I think it's pretty cool. Also got the boards with that. Right, almost halfway through, a lot of black shirts. And then this shirt, real cool, kind of a trippy tee. I forget what this was called, but you got kind of this crazy graphic in the front. I kind of, I really don't know what this is from. It says it has a Nicholson right down here. I'm guessing he's the artist. If you know what this is from, or the or the artist or whatever, comment below because I'm interested because I really like these kind of designs. One of my more favorite shirts, one of the shirts I wear more often. Kind of subtle supreme but cool graphic. graphic. And then the big Bas Basquiat uh, kind of photo tee, I guess. Real big, it's like a real big print where it kind of like looks weird when you wear it. I haven't really, really wore it that much. Supreme on the back. And then KRS one Uzi T. Real cool tee, I love the little photos. Got a little Uzi in his hand. And going on along. Another undercover collab. I think this was the, called the sink head or keyboard head or something like that. Real cool, interesting tee. Supreme on the bottom. A lot of people were saying, like, why did they like put Supreme all over the t shirt? It kind of ruined it. And if you looked at the, from uh, the interview he did um, from Undercover, it was really Jun Takashi's like idea. It wasn't really Supreme's. He said he wanted to put more Supreme on it. They didn't. So. Little story on that. And then we got the Supreme, that's the same font, left breast. 
Rough Riders Club, DMX, real, real cool. I also got the hockey jersey. They have a lot of cool collabs. Um, Supreme, I think this is the roll class tee. I also got the green board. Simple tee, so you can throw it on. You really don't give a fuck what happens to it. Uh, that's kind of my uh, go-to tee. And then something I haven't worn in a while, small box logo tee. Black, got a little like glued on little patch box logo. One. Oh, awesome. The Ali Warhol pick portrait one. Real cool. Ali's my favorite boxer of all time. Inspirational guy. Even if you don't like boxing, you know who Ali is. Love this shirt. Really glad to have that one. And then the Betty Boop. Cool graphic mixed in with Supreme. Even got Betty Boop on the tag. Little collab. collab. Another shirt I don't really wear that much. Kind of, I just got it because it had like weird placement of the screen graphic. Splat and purple. On the back again, you got Supreme Splat. Not a big fan of like the illustrated graphics and stuff like that. Like the more uh, photos and kind of um, kind of retro looking stuff, stuff like this. This is one of my favorite tees of all time too. I feel like I'm saying that about a lot, but I pretty much buy like just the things I think I like really into, not just something that's like eh. No apologies tee. A long time ago, I posted where this came from. You know the story about Milk and uh, his whole his whole thing when there was like the trial. This is what it was from. They kind of did their own spin on it. Real cool story. Um, old tee, probably one of my older tees I've got, a little bit of a bigger size, a large. Real happy to have that tee. And then, moving on, my uh, go-to Halloween tee I kind of wear every year, Chucky. Kind of like uh, airbrushed on, real cool. Chucky. And then, oh here we go, Comte de Garçon collab, third one. Harold Hunter, front. Bottom, I kind of forgot this was even there. Comedy Garcon and the Supreme Box logo. Also got the Vans. Pretty much all, all the CD, CDG Vans. This is another one of my. Man, I like like all these shirts. I forget I've had a lot of these. Um, floral, kind of like that symmet symmet symmetrical kind of pattern in the front, and then on the back even bigger. Really like that one too. It's a navy one too. It's rare. Usually all black. And then we're getting almost to the end. The Hanes mini box logo. I got some white ones I didn't show you. A few of those. The anti then we got the anti-establishment tee. Got the photo of the cop car turned over. Anti-establishment, that old kind of English font. Kind of fits me weird. The color like droops down like a v-neck almost. So I don't really wear it that much, even though I really like the graphic. And then you saw the sneak peek. The Joan of Arc tee, supreme in the front. Joan of Arc in the back. One of my favorite shirts that have a, a graphic on the back. Usually I like stuff on the front because the back you kind of never see, but I really like this one. Really uh, kind of stands out. And then, uh. Ryan <laughs> Shane McGowan. One of my few box or a few photo tees I have cause just because they're just hard to get and I just really don't go for them if I don't like the guy. Voice from the County Hell in the back. Another cool collab, Misfits, if you grew up skateboarding or anything like that, how did you not like the Misfits, how did you not hear about the Misfits, spring box logo in the little corner. Going towards the end here, I got another cool piece, the undercover, the first uh, Supreme collab with the bear, I bought the pillow, I realized it was the biggest waste of money, I sold it, so I got rid of that quick, Just to, I think I made like 20 bucks on it just to get my money back, Supreme box logo with over his little eyes, cool shirt. Go. We're going towards the end here. From the kids collab, another one of the most like important collabs they've done, more epic ones. Got the little 40 and the pant leg. Jesus Christ, what happened? Famous quote from the movie on the back. And this is pretty much the last shirt. Kind of my go-to shirt again. I just throw on kind of that wavy Supreme print, cold world graphic on the back. Real cool kind of shirt. And those are pretty much all my shirts. Um, I got some cut and sewn stuff, and like, I'll, maybe I'll throw that stuff in like later or do another video on the cut and sewn stuff. I just wanted to put out stuff, show collection videos. I know a lot of you guys were asking for my t-shirt collection video. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm posting up the shirts daily or every couple days of just the shirts I'm wearing, just to kind of like, you know, catalog all my shirts like on Instagram. I think it's cool. Um, still gonna do the Cribs tour video. I'm still waiting to pick up anything. The Slayer collab. I'm not a big fan of Slayer. Uh, I didn't get anything from that. Just really nothing I think is left except collabs, if anything cool drops. So I'm kind of just waiting for the season to be over, and then we'll start up in uh, spring-summer. 
Maybe I'll go up to New York for that. It's not fun to wait in the cold up there, but um, I heard they did the process a little different. I'm not used to it, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, stay tuned for more skate videos, more collection videos. Maybe I'll do a cut zone thing with like, or maybe an accessory video. But there's so many accessories. I don't know how I'll put them all in the video. They're like scattered everywhere. So just stay tuned for those. I uh, appreciate it. If you want to follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, Mike.Kilroy. Mike uh, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. And see you next time.